how do we know what ingredients contain alpha-gal? Unfortunately, the answer is not super straightforward. Um, we know that alpha-gal is present in all quote-unquote lower mammals, so non-human uh, and um, some of the old world monkeys don't have, great apes and old world monkeys don't have alpha-gal as well. The tricky part of it is that not everything that comes from lower mammals has alpha-gal. So there are certain um, proteins that, um, that exist in cows, for example, that don't have, they don't get glycosylated. So they don't get the alpha-gal sugar placed on them. So it's difficult to really know exactly which, um, which actual tissues um, and, in, and therefore the ingredients that contain alpha-gal. But I think the cautious approach is just to assume that in general, if, it, if it's beef, if it's the muscle meat, so beef, pork, lamb, et cetera, that that's a an pretty easy answer. We know that the muscle um, has alpha-gal. Organ meats as well. Uh, from these mammals also have alpha-gal. We know that dairy does, so the milk that's derived from uh, lower mammals has alpha-gal as well. But when it gets into some of the really particular things about um, specific tissues, we don't quite know as much, so it's probably best to just think about if it comes from uh, cows, pigs, uh, sheep, etc., that you would approach that with caution um, and probably avoidance until we knew otherwise would be the best way forward.